Shadows Short Mood Review. Barnabas Collins has an affair with a servant who turns out to be a witch. And he didn't know that when he dumped her. He probably wishes he did. And so she curses him and the family, killing his parents and his love, and turning him into a vampire, only to have an angry mob throw him into a chained shut coffin and bury him for 200 years for him to awaken in the early 1970s and he has to readjust to this new time. There are some jokes about the 70s but surprisingly few. Actually I'd say about half of them are actually in the trailer. He finds his beloved estate, Collinwood, pretty decayed with a drunken caretaker and a an ancient cleaning woman and the family is pretty well in shambles as well they they may share blood but they have very little to do with each other and he vows to restore the once great Collins name their business and their mansion. But the witch is back and Angelique hasn't forgotten about Barnabas at all. This is not quite as good as some of the earlier work of Tim Burton but it is closer to a return to form than several of you know, some of his more recent outings especially Alice in Wonderland and it you know, for taking place in the 1970s. It's definitely a love letter to the 1970s, but it's actually, there, there are relatively few jokes surrounding that particular aspect. You know, it actually does have just, and I should maybe also say, it, it is comedy, it is a dark comedy, but it's also fantasy, horror, drama, and a dark love story. The 70s aspect shows up in the set design, the production design in general, you know, costumes and all that, but it is more of just a backdrop a lot of the time. It's casting Johnny Depp as a 200 year old vampire who is, you know, eccentric and a fish out of water because he's out of his time, you know is a great casting decision. You know, Depp works best with these, you know, interesting and sort of different eccentric roles. Michelle Pfeiffer also does really well as this strong independent woman, the head of the Colin family, until Barnabas returns, and very protective of her family. And the family in general is interesting, and quite a few of the members have various secrets, and most of these are interesting. The, the look and style of the film is great, and it really, you know, it reeks of Burton. And if you like Tim Burton, you're almost definitely gonna like the film. Some of the jokes don't completely work, but most of the time, you know, and in general, most of the genre elements tend to work, and he mixes the genres quite well, as he has done in the past. And, yeah, just in general, fun, engaging, scary, dramatic, yeah, go see it. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.